What are the two most versatile baits to fish year round? Year round. And I'm gonna give you a little hint on this. See if you get them both right. They're pretty identical type baits. In fact, in fact, Ricky Clun and I have had several discussions over the years. When to use, when to use, uh, when to use one, when to use the other. Good morning, guys and girls. June 26, June 26, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you uh, look at this every day, but you're not really subscribed to the channel. I've had several of you tell me that. Subscribe to this channel. If you'll hit that little bell in there, it'll, it'll give you a little uh, deal when they, we post these. We post these every day at 5 o'clock Central Time, and you will not miss a single one. 365, 365 every, uh, days of the year, we post one every day. Uh, we have it posted 5 o'clock in the morning Central Time here in Oklahoma, 5 o'clock in the morning. Not daylight yet at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, but that's when we post them up there. So uh, uh, you have a scripture from the Word of God, a devotional that I wrote built around fishing and, uh, and a fishing tip for every single day. So it's pretty, pretty doggone, pretty doggone uh, good. Uh, it'll change your life. It's called Catch a Better Life. Your life will get better. That's exactly what it's all designed for. June 26, we're looking in the book of Joel, Joel 2:28. It shall come to pass afterward that I will pour my spirit on all flesh. That's God talking right there when he says, I will pour my spirit, God's spirit, on all flesh. Here's what I wrote about that. It's a thrill for a fisherman to make their own lures and then go out and catch fish on them. That's absolutely great. I can remember back when I first started making red man spinner baits. Oh my gosh. Such a thrill to make a bait, hand make that bait from some wire and rubber and, and, and stainless steel and, and, and go out and catch fish on it. What a thrill. I'm sure that the early fishermen made these lures by necessity just to catch dinner. Don Rawlins at Spike It has developed a complete line of soft plastics, molds, and accessories that make this possible for anybody to do. If you'll go on Spike It's web, website, you'll see some of that stuff in there, but they've got molds where you can make your own plastic worms, all lizards, crawls, all that kind of stuff. This saves money, and it makes it fun to build a lure and then go out and whack them on it, like I said. It just makes it so much fun to do that. It's really satisfying when you take a liquid and you pour it into a mold and you make it into this spectacular fish-catching lure. And you can make it a one-of-a-kind lure. It can be like colored like no other lure in the world is colored. Can I tell you, this is something like what God does when we get saved, when we make Jesus Lord of our lives. He literally pours His Holy Spirit into us, pours His Holy Spirit into it. The moment we get saved, the moment we ask Jesus to come into our life and save us, God gives us His Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is there to comfort us. He's there to lead us into better decision making. And God's Holy Spirit is always available to us. He's available all the time, 24 hours a day. But it's only available if we listen to it. God's Holy Spirit will be speaking to us we're just about every decision that we have to make, but we've got to be listening. We've got to be listening for that Holy Spirit. And we've got to be recognizing that Spirit when it's talking to us. And sometimes that Spirit's going to be leading us in a direction that we don't really want, necessarily want to go. We want to go a different way. That's our Spirit wanting to do that. But if we listen to God's Spirit, we'll make better decisions. We'll do things better in our lives. You've got to listen to Him. You've got to rely on God's Holy Spirit every day. I don't know about you, but I rely on God's Holy Spirit day by day by day. Here's our tip for today. Two lures that are the most versatile lures you can use year-round. A spinnerbait is one of them. Of course, you know what the other one is. It's kind of about like a spinnerbait, a bladed jig. A bladed jig are two most versatile baits year-round, year-round. You know, I fish a spinnerbait a lot right up on top of the water. I fish it like right before it goes out of sight. I fish it down on the bottom. I fish it halfway between the top and the bottom. A bladed jig, something like a scrounger, Lucky Strike makes it a scrounger. That's a blade, basically, it's, a, it's got a little, little deal on the head. It works just like a bladed jig. And then a chatterbait type bait. That's what we're talking about in a bladed jig. And it is difficult to know when to throw one and when to throw the other because actually they both work really good under pretty much all the same type of circumstances. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.